Welcome back to another Crypto Gorilla video. I've been covering a ton of Ordinals content lately, so I thought it would be a great time to look at some upcoming Bitcoin airdrops. Now, as usual, none of this is financial advice. It's also highly speculative. I can't guarantee that any of this is going to lead to money, that any of these airdrops are going to be profitable, or that some of these are even going to do an airdrop, and it will cost you money to do this. So 100% you need to do your own research and accept the risk that is involved with farming airdrops. So if all that's cool with you, feel free to keep going with this video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, would you kindly hit that subscribe button? And without further ado, let's look at five upcoming Bitcoin airdrops in 2024. So first up on the list, we have Unisat, which is both a wallet as well as a marketplace for buying BRC20s. If you navigate over to their website and connect your wallet, ideally the Unisat wallet, because if there is an airdrop, I assume they're going to be giving it to people who use all of their products. So their own wallet and Xverse people might not qualify for it. But no matter what wallet you connect, you're going to notice there is a point system when you look at your profile. And if you're used to Web3, you know that points equals potential airdrop, at least in our minds, right? We're highly speculative. So we want to accumulate points. So how do we do that? The only way, at least the only way that I know of is to navigate up here to this inscribe section. And from here, you can inscribe your very own ordinals or BRC 20. So you have four options. You have files, you have names, you have text and BRC 20. The cheapest options are name and text. It's going to cost you roughly like depends on gas or sats, but the, the gas version of Bitcoin, but anywhere from like five to 10 bucks, you would literally just go here, write a word, do next, next, and then you pick how much gas you want to pay, or I keep saying gas, but sats. And you want to be careful that it's not too high while doing this. I'll link this website down below where you can check what the current price is. So when this number gets really high, right now it's at 60. It's really not that bad. I usually go around between 40 something and 60. When it, If it's like 150, 200, something's going on on the chain. A ton of people are minting something or, or trading, whatever. You don't want to do it during that time because it's going to cost you a lot more money than it should, especially if you're just trying to farm an airdrop. So similar to on Ethereum, when GUI spikes, it's going to cost you like 50 bucks for a transaction instead of five bucks. So if you were to go ahead and inscribe this, it's going to give you one point. So one inscription equals one point. And then if you want additional ways to qualify for an airdrop, since all of this is speculative, we don't know what their criteria is going to be, but typically it's the number of transactions that you have, the volume that you're doing in your transactions. And one way to do this is with their BRC20 swap. Unfortunately, you do need 200 points, which if it's one point for one inscription, it's going to take you 200 transactions, which is very expensive. That's going to be like a thousand bucks before you can use this. Although it did, or I believe it started at 500 points. And then over time, they have just reduced it. So I assume in the future, it's going to be down to 150 and then 100, and then hopefully even lower as they onboard more and more people onto their product product. However, I wouldn't go ham getting 200 points just to try to use this. Like I would only do this if you actually want to use it. If not, I'm just going to inscribe over time, right? Not in one sitting, maybe over a couple of months because you also want month to month transactions. I'm just going to inscribe like 10 inscriptions just to get a good clean number. It's going to give me 10 points, but I'm also going to have 10 transactions in my wallet using their website. Next on the list, we have Ordinal's wallet, which just like Unisat, it's both a wallet as well as a marketplace. However, unlike Unisat, Xverse, or even MetaMask, which is an ETH wallet, but still those all have a plugin. Here, your Bitcoin wallet is not a Chrome extension. It's just within their website. Now, despite all that, these guys are really good. They have a great reputation. They're very quick at adding new features and listening to what the community wants. I've also heard really good things about their Twitter. They do have a subscribe button, which it's like six bucks a month. And I'm probably going to do it because apparently they drop a ton of alpha, but they do even have things coming for their subscribers. One, they said, if you're subscribed, make sure you connect your Twitter to Ordinal's wallet. So maybe there's going to be something special there for their subscribers, but they also drop alpha here. They even say they have a special drop coming for the subscribers. This was two weeks ago. I don't know what this is or what it's going to be, but it might end up being free money. That is more than the six bucks you're paying a month. So like I said, after this video, I'm probably just going to go subscribe to it because it's six bucks, worst case, whatever. Now they have already done one airdrop in the past. If you just signed up 
to Ordinal's wallet and did one transaction, you were airdropped a Pixel Pepe, which are currently worth 0.048 Bitcoin, which is $2,000 airdropped for free to your wallet. However, if we go to sales and we filter by the highest sales, you could see that last May, these were trading for up to half a Bitcoin, which at the time I believe was like 13 or $15,000. So five figures airdropped to your wallet for absolutely free just for doing one transaction with their product. So that's why I say for Unisat and all, I know it doesn't seem like much doing one inscription and getting one point, but if it ends up giving you a dope airdrop, it could be worth it just for one transaction. Like it's five bucks. Now, as for a future airdrop for Ordinal's wallet, I would just suggest just using the platform normally, you know, buy and sell NFTs, buy and sell BRC 20s, maybe inscribe some NFTs just like on Unisat. However, I wouldn't go ham farming this. The ideal situation is you're already trading NFTs. You're already trading ordinals and BRC 20s. And instead of using whatever platform you're using, you're going to use this platform just for a few transactions. Like you don't have to make it your main platform, but at least you're doing some transactions on the platform to qualify for any potential airdrop. Next on the list, we have Saturn, which is a marketplace that allows you to trade rare Satoshi. I say rare because there's a lot of arguments about this if they're actually rare, but you've probably heard of Uncommon, Pizza, Palindrome Sats. Well, if you have, this is the place where you can easily trade them. So first off, you're going to have to create an account and deposit money into the platform, meaning it's a separate wallet than your Xverse and your Unisat, even though those are the wallets you're going to be connecting to the site. So you have to send money to the wallet that they're going to give you. So before doing this, make sure you're comfortable doing that with this platform and you trust it. And they did say you need a minimum of 100,000 sats, which I believe is roughly $50. I sent more because I'm going to be doing swaps on here. So I'm going to need more money in this platform, but it really just depends how much liquid you have available. So once you're signed up, you've deposited money into the platform. The next thing you want is volume. So like I said, on this platform, you could trade regular Satoshis for rare Satoshis and vice versa. So let's say I wanted some pizza sats, here, they're going to give me a suggested price. I just click OK, and it's going to readjust to what it's worth. And these prices are constantly varying. So right now it might cost me 18,000 sats in order to get 10,000 pizza sats. However, tomorrow it might cost me 30,000 or maybe it's only gonna cost me 10,000, right? So you could lose a little bit of money as you trade on this platform. So you still wanna do it like in a smart way. However, the amounts are pretty small. So I don't think it's too bad, but if you're doing something like an uncommon sat here, it's a lot more expensive just to get one uncommon sat than it is to get, you know, thousands of pizza sats. So the reason we are doing this is to get the rug token airdrop, which you might have heard of because a ton of ordinals communities are doing collabs with this project and are going to be getting their share of the rug token airdropped. Some of the ones that are already confirmed are doge punks, ordi bots, ordinal maxi biz, and a ton others. If you just scroll their timeline, however, all of these had a snapshot, so you can't go and buy one now to qualify. The other thing is you need to both hold Hold that asset and use the platform. It's not enough to just hold the asset, but I'm assuming if you do both of those, you're going to get an even bigger airdrop than people who just use the platform on its own. And overall, that's just a great strategy on their behalf to onboard people onto their platform, because obviously people who hold those assets are now going to go make a trade just to get that free money. Next up, we have Runex who just launched their boxes 3.0. And what they are doing is a social exchange. So when you go on a regular exchange like Binance, or whatever, you are instantly trading your assets. Here, you are doing these OTC deals where you have to trade it with somebody else. Here, the deal actually goes through Discord. So you're interacting with another person. You're both going to have to approve it. And there are currently a lot of steps. I won't front. It's a lot of work. However, there's going to be an airdrop here. So a lot of people are hyped about this. Now, in order to use it, you are going to need a code. We were lucky enough in Gorilla Labs to get 25 codes for my community. I'm also raffling off a few more using the Engage tool, which is free to join in my Discord server. I'll put a link to that in the description down below. I'm also giving away thousands of dollars of free NFTs, so literally nothing to lose. However, if you do manage to get your hands on a code, you are going to be able to sign up to use their platform 
through Discord. I'll put a tutorial from Kali who did help me out with this video. Thank you very much, Kali. He explains to you how to sign up and start using this platform. Like I said, it is complicated. You have to use both the web tool, which I have here on screen, as well as their Discord. If you need a guide, they do have documentation up here on the top right. They also have an AI that you can ask questions to. However, the reason people are using this is it allows you to trade assets cross chain OTC. So let's say I want to trade ETH for like pipe or one of these Bitcoin tokens, like pipe is a Bitcoin standard, but they also have a token. You can do that by using this platform. Now, one of the reasons this is so hype is that they are launching on ruins, which is an upcoming standard by Casey, who is the creator of ordinals. And they're really taking their time. They've built a great brand. They're doing a lot of good partnerships. So a lot of people respect them and are hyped about this. And they're going to be launching on ruins with the name Ruin X. So a lot of people are hyped about this and I'm seeing a lot of people talk about it. So if you're willing to put in the time, like I said, it's very meticulous. It is complicated to understand, but if you're willing to do it, it could pay off big. Last but not least, we have Liquidium Fi. This one is very new to me. I just recently discovered it. So again, all these platforms do your own research, but definitely with this one, but I find this one really cool. Essentially, it's a platform for borrowing and lending your ordinals, your Bitcoin NFTs. So before using this, make sure you understand DeFi and the risks involved with borrowing and lending. I'm personally not gonna borrow any of my NFTs. However, I might loan out some money against some of these more stable collections, something like OMB, where I do have confidence that it's going to perform well. And if you look at the timeline here, like 16 days, I don't know, I feel like if I loan somebody 0.2 Bitcoin against his NFT, so if he fails to pay it, pay it back, I get his OMB at half price and it's 16 days. I feel like there's going to be some people out there who forget to pay back their loan and then I just got half off on an OMB, which I've been wanting to buy one. So I might try this out just to take advantage of the platform. However, if you go to your profile or I can go on portfolio up here, you can see there is a score. I haven't used it yet. So again, do your own research. Make sure you're comfortable using these kinds of platforms, but they do have a score just like with unisat when i see a score my brain naturally thinks okay they're calculating what i'm doing with the platform and there's maybe going to be an airdrop so again another platform that i'm speculating there could be an airdrop but this is a cool one there's not that much liquidity. So if you're trying to borrow against your NFT, nobody might take you up on that offer. But I just wanted to talk about it because I like this kind of stuff. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. If there is an airdrop that I missed, if there's something you want me to check out or talk about, or if I got any info wrong, please let me know in the comment section down below. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, would you kindly hit that subscribe button? Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.